Hello everyone, it's Sugarbrush here, and today I'm going to show you some progress that I made with uh, portals in Unity. I know I've done a lot with portals, but uh, there was a little bit of optimization that I worked on recently, and I wanted to show that off. I know I've been uploading a lot of Geometry Dash videos lately, so I thought I'd go back to something like this, do something different. So let's begin. Basically, that piece of optimization is, I call it a scissor. So first of all, take a look at the batches really quick. It's 449. The higher this number is, the more expensive the performance. Like, the slower it might be, you know, the more lag it could create. So let's just start with portal 1A. If I don't scissor it, batches go up just a little bit. Because if we scale this render plane, you can see this amount of, or actually w without the scissor, we have to render everything on the screen, basically. There's quite a bit outside here that has to get rendered that the camera is rendering. That's kind of some wasted performance, despite the fact that the render plane is only showing a certain bit of it. A chunk of it. It is the camera that is actually having to render the entire thing. So what the scissor does is it crops the view. It crops what the camera has to render. So let's scale the render plane back up to four. And notice how the entire thing kind of moves. And if I scissor, there we go. Notice how. Well, you kind of see that's not moving anymore. The stuff that's here is just frozen. The only stuff that's moving is the stuff here. That's kind of the idea with the, the scissor. It, oh yeah, you'll really see the difference right here. You know, when your scene is, you know, when a scene you have, if you have a scene that has like a lot of objects and stuff. So 1598, let's select all these portals. Uncheck scissor. Look, we went up to 2040 batches. Just by scissoring the portals, we go down to 1598. It's kind of the idea with the scissoring. I've also done the same for the mirrors. And, okay, that doesn't look quite right inside it. Yeah, that portal didn't look very well through here because I scaled the render plane. All right, well, Yeah, so that's pretty much it for what I wanted to show off. Also that, by the way. Uh, yeah. It's, this is actually a new prototype project from my old prototype. I'm using the same Zen Garden model, but I have uh, things a little bit differently. I still have this secret room. And I have the movement speed multiplier. You can actually see the batches are fairly high. There's just probably a number of triangles having to get rendered. Might be these flower pots. I could maybe try to reduce the number of triangles on them, or it might also be code, some of the code that's being run. But yeah, I kind of see you can go out here. Yeah, basically. So if we have like 2,800 batches on these portals, and we don't scissor, wow, it goes to 4,085. Just by scissoring it, I can save a lot of batches. Hopefully you understood what I meant by scissoring earlier. So which portal is that? Yeah, like one of these portals, portal 4B, if I scale the render plane up, you can kind of see how much of, well, actually, how much that this stuff outside here is not being rendered. Actually, let me get, let me scale, scale it up to ten. Give me, give you a real idea. Of, so this, this is how much is having to get rendered, basically. The basically this entire rectangle's worth, from the other's camera's perspective, is what has to get rendered, unless I scissor it.
So yeah. That's basically what I wanted to show you. It's mostly just a piece of optimization. I struggled a lot to get it working earlier, you know, quite a while ago, but I finally figured it out. Had to mess around with the, you know, with the materials. I had to create some properties so that it would reflect the scissor because it changed the projection projection matrix and calculate it. It just messed with the calculations a little, and I had to re I had to scale the calculations a bit, basically. So yeah, that's that's all it is, and hope. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you later.